Hi, I'm Ted Gross, Program Specialist for the Burnham Wildlife Corridor. Today, I'm going to teach you how to spot monarch butterflies and their caterpillars by identifying their host species, milkweed plants. First, what do monarch butterflies and their caterpillars look like? Well, monarch butterflies are famously very orange with black stripes and white spots. Because we're looking for them around milkweed, if you see a butterfly that looks like this around a milkweed plant, you can be pretty sure it's a monarch butterfly. Monarch caterpillars are easy to spot, too, because of their black, yellow, and white stripes. They also have a set of what looks like antenna, but are actually tentacles, on their head and on their rear. If you spot a milkweed plant with some chewed up leaves, turn them over, and you might just find one. With that, let's get back to identifying some milkweed. First, what is a host species? Now when I say host species, what I mean is that milkweed has a special relationship with monarch butterflies and their caterpillars. These are the only kinds of leaves that monarch caterpillars can eat to survive and grow big. If they don't have milkweed, they're not going to thrive. The butterflies as well prefer the flowers of milkweed plants because it's a great place for them to be around so that they can lay eggs on them to hatch into caterpillars. At the same time, the milkweed plant itself benefits from this. Because monarch butterflies are around milkweed plants, they know they have a pollinator that's going to help them produce seeds later on, so that way there can be more milkweed plants in the future. Cool, let's find some milkweed. There are many milkweeds in Illinois, but we're gonna to learn to find common milkweed, butterfly weed, and world milkweed. Common milkweed is probably the easiest to identify. It's fairly tall, and can be up to about four to even five feet tall in some areas. It has really large, broad leaves, each with a kind of purple or pink vein down the center. And each leaf, when you pick it, or even scratch it, produces kind of a milky sap latex. Last, and this is maybe most important, it has large globe-like flowers, which is really typical of most milkweeds. But common milkweeds are particularly large and sort of a nice light pink color. It's also somewhat fragrant, fragrant and smells like jasmine or vanilla. Butterfly weed has round clusters of flowers just like common milkweed, but in this case they are orange or reddish in color. Butterfly weed's leaves are very slender by comparison and the plants are very short, coming up to only about two feet tall at the most, but it's commonly found in a lot of gardens and parks and is a great place to find both monarch caterpillars and butterflies. World milkweed looks completely different from other milkweeds. It has really narrow leaves and looks to me almost like rosemary. It only grows about a foot off the ground. But just like other milkweeds, when you pick a leaf, it actually produces a milky latex. And those flowers that are growing on top will be round and globe-like, just like common milkweed and butterfly weed. Now that you know how to identify three different varieties of milkweed plant, Go into your yard, out in your neighborhood, into your local park, and see if you can find them. If you can find them, I'll bet you'll find monarch butterflies. And if you look under the leaves, I'll bet you'll find some monarch caterpillars. If you're interested in doing more to protect monarchs here in Chicago, please look up the Field Museum's Monarch Community Science Project. It's a great way to get more involved in protecting monarch butterflies and learn a lot too.